In this video, I wanna share how I safely transport my 100 pound propane tank to a refilling station. I'll break it down into three parts. First, we'll cover a few very basic rules that apply to transporting 100 pound propane tanks in a vehicle. Next, I'll cover how I move my tank over rough ground and loading it into and unloading it from my truck while the tank is full and weighs around 170 pounds. And then last, I'll demonstrate how I properly secure it into my truck bed. So let's get to it. Our home has a 100 pound propane tank in the backyard that fuels our stove. First time that I had to go and refill this tank, it was a bit of a challenge because I didn't realize that it was gonna be a lot more difficult than just refilling the propane tank that we use for our barbecue grill. This tank is large, bulky, and it weighs up to 170 pounds when it's full. And there are certain requirements when transporting it that you need to be aware of. DOT regulations cover some rules around propane transport. Obviously, rules change over time, and rules vary by state and locality, so don't use this as legal advice, but regardless, all these seem like common sense recommendations at a minimum. First, enclosed vehicles like sedans, SUVs, and vans have stricter rules that include limits of four tanks per vehicle, 45 pounds of rated capacity per tank, and no more than 90 pounds of combined rated capacity across all tanks in the vehicle. So obviously we shouldn't be carrying 100 pound tanks in enclosed vehicles. All propane tanks, regardless of size and regardless of vehicle must be transported upright and not on their sides. When transporting our propane cylinder over the dirt and mud in my backyard and anywhere else, I use this handy convertible hand truck with this wooden insert I crafted. The hand truck is perfect for the job when used with this insert that prevents the tank from rolling off to the side. The insert also has a small wooden block that fits perfectly between the bars of the hand truck to prevent it from sliding around. That same wooden insert is also a key part of my strategy for securing the tank for transport to the filling station. I flip it over so that the bottom legs now point up. In this configuration, the insert is flush against the bottom of the truck bed and the top edge. When used with a few tie downs, the tank is stabilized against the front end of my truck's bed. If you want to copy this hand truck and insert setup, here's a quick diagram of the insert and I'll add a link to the hand truck in the description below. As you can see here, I have one tie down strap over the top of the cylinder, one strap securing the middle, and one strap wrapped around the bottom of the cylinder from behind. For optimal positioning, I actually should have looped the bottom strap behind the wooden insert and then around the bottle coming from the center. As you can see, it ended up in between the cylinder and the insert, but in the end, it still worked fine. After securing it to the front, I added one more strap anchored to the back corner of the truck bed and the top of the propane tank to ensure it couldn't fly forward in an accident. This last part of the video covers loading and unloading full 100 pound tanks. Remember, it weighs much more than 100 pounds when full. It's actually around 170 pounds. Earlier in the video, you saw that I loaded an empty tank by myself, but when handling a full cylinder, it's best to have two sets of hands. The person in the truck is there mostly to control the top and not let it tip over the side, while the person on the bottom tips the tank forward and then does most of the lifting using their legs and never their backs. Unloading is the same as loading, just in reverse, and take it slow because as you probably saw, I nearly pulled my wife forward over the end of the tailgate. Okay, since you've watched this long, you get three special bonus prizes. First, here I am returning my full tank to my very rustic backyard and nearly dumping it on the ground because I hit a bump and I was so thankful for that wooden insert to hold it all together. Second, just a reminder, when you're connecting and disconnecting your tank and after you shut off the gas by turning the green knob all the way to the right, the connection between your tank and the regulator is a reverse thread. So it's righty loosey and lefty tighty. And lastly, after you've reconnected everything and repressurized your system, be sure to spray or pour some soapy water on the connections to locate any bubbles that appear indicating a link. With that, if you have any questions, please share them in the comments below and thanks for watching.